Ron Paul supporters took control of the Clark County Republican Party this weekend, winning election to two-thirds of the executive board positions. Paul supporters won as many as half of the 1,382 delegates nominated to the state convention in May. So, will the Paul delegates play by the rules and vote for Mitt Romney, who won the state's caucus in February? Joining me to talk about it, Carl Bunce heads the Ron Paul campaign. And I'm going to give this one a try, Zyra Valdovinos. She's a newly elected member of the Republican Party Executive Board. How did I do? Close? Pretty good. Pretty thanks. good. All right. <laughs> Welcome to both of you. Thanks, well, thanks, for, thanks for coming on. So uh, I guess the big question, Mr. Bunce, is that you, and you talked about this to me after the caucus. You said it's all about delegates. It's mm -hmm. all about a delegate battle. Uh, are those numbers right? You took control of two-thirds of the Executive Board, and you got about half the delegates go going to the state convention. That's true? Uh, one, one is completely correct. The two-thirds of the e-board, the e that's verifiable. I yet don't have the numbers on the uh, delegate count going to the state but we have a sizable amount. How did that happen? Because if people don't remember, I, I think uh, Romney got 14, uh, 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 got 14 of the delegates uh, by the caucus proportions. I think Paul got five, correct? Uh, those are just arbitrary numbers based upon presidential preference polls, percentages. Uh, the delegates really come down to who participates, who's present actually, shows up, goes through the process, who has the most drive. Uh, or stamina and staying power uh, within the delegate process. Uh, you know, I heard uh, Dave Gibbs was the chairman of the Clark County Party, and maybe, maybe you can talk about this. Uh, he was talking on the agenda today, and he basically said one of the reasons that this was allowed to happen was a lot of people talking about stamina left at lunchtime, right? After the speeches by Heller and Hacka. I admit it, that's when I left, uh, and, and they didn't stick around. Do you think that's, what, that's what, why this occurred? Well, actually, the are you talking about the e-board elections? Yeah. Those actually took place during lunchtime, and a lot of those people came back. I just think a lot of people want fair and transparent uh, people to represent them in the e-board. And, and w that has not happened in the past, is what you're saying? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I know that I ran on the idea that I want to help create more outreach and actually, you know, reach into the community and bring more people into the party. Yeah, let me show you what Mr. Bunce had to say uh, to the Review Journal after the Paul supporters won about half of those delegates. This is the grassroots taking a stand to change the direction of the party from the, co from the county level. This is bigger than just Ron Paul. This is about liberty and openness and fairness and changing the party. Okay, I get the liberty and openness. That's the Ron Paul mantra. Changing the party. How do you want to change the party? Just more organization. We saw a lot of lack of process during the caucus process. You I think? I, I work with a lot of those people in the past. They, they tried their hardest. Uh, due to some changes in the caucus process, we had a, a lack of volunteers. Uh, that brought a little chaos to some of the locations. A lot of it went off well. Uh, we, we worked hard in the county party to get a, a good caucus. Uh, we need a little more stamina, a little, a little more planning, a little more process in the party in order, if we want to elect Republicans in November, We've got to have that. If we see these these flaws in the process in our caucus, how are we going to how are we going to elect Republicans in, in November? You know, the conventional wisdom is is the party's a mess, right? I mean, the caucus was a disaster. I don't care what any, what anybody says in terms of organization and the image that it put out. And generally, people try to shy away from the party. They don't want to get involved in the party because it's an embarrassment. How do you change that? Being on the executive board of the county party? Well, definitely focus on making the events more organized and easier for people to participate in. That way, people feel like they can uh, you know take part in it and not sense that they're not being heard or th that the process is going you know in such a way that they'll be embarrassed by what would happen. Well, have you felt that way in the past? Well, my goal just coming into it from, uh, you know, a little while now has just been how can we make everything more organized and have the events just run so much smoother that people feel proud and they just want to stay in engaged and also how can we bring more people into the Republican Party? You know, one thing the Republican Party here has been consistently behind the Democrats on for a variety of reasons is being organized, getting people out, getting people registered, getting people out to vote. Uh, I have not seen a really good registration drive on behalf of the Clark County Party. I can't even tell you when I've been doing this for 25 years. Do you think we can actually possibly see this? You can take that first. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's, a lot of that's going to come with uh, outreaching to other groups in the community, um, doing uh, Hispanic outreach, and just getting more folks to come over to the Republican side. You think it's, you think it's possible? Because I, I, that has been my experience. Why would it be possible now? Definitely. I mean, we're bringing to bear, uh, working with the Ron Paul campaign over the past eight to nine months, we've registered over four to 5,000 people uh, to come over to the Republican side. 
Those are hard registrations. I don't know if you. They're can not go. registering libertarian. You no, sure? No, I'm positive. Uh, if you notice, you look at the numbers so for the first time in uh, three to four years, Republicans out, out registering Democrats in Clark County. There's a reason behind that. The people that organized behind the Ron Paul campaign. We really made an outreach to get Republicans registered. Not all of them voted, unfortunately. But again, that's a mess messaging. We have to have good candidates to get them to turn out. But and most of the progress the Republicans have made vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Democrats here in Clark County is because of attrition in, in the voter rolls, not so much because more. Republicans are getting registered. It could be twofold. I mean, we I know we registered up to four to 5,000 people. All right, well, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, I'm going to show you. We actually had a poll out there on Ron Paul. I think Carl Bunce actually juiced the thing. But uh, <laughs> when we come back, actually, he wouldn't have done that on this one. Welcome back across Nevada to Face to Face. We're talking about the Ron Paul folks. They're organized. They took over the Clark County Convention. We're talking to a couple of new, rep one rep new representative. You don't have any editor. No. no, one new representative of the Clark County Republican Party uh, uh, Executive Board and Carl Bunce, who ran Ron Paul's campaign here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what happened in Washoe County. We have a lot. We have viewers up in Reno. Did, did the same thing happen in Washoe County? Um, similar, similar situation. Uh, basically, people got had their voice heard. People who wanted to step up to be a state delegate have the opportunity to. I believe it was, uh, they maximized their amount of delegates, set delegates, and I think they had a, close to 200 alternate delegates. But anyone who wanted to participate at the state level is able to. So it looks like you're going to have a, a lot of delegates, Ron Paul folks, at the state convention in May, correct? Uh, possible. We still have a lot of work to do to reach out to our, uh, the support base for Ron Paul here in Nevada and identify to see that they, they followed through the process. I, I think a lot of them did, obviously. You know, it's interesting. You also told the RJ that the Paul supporters would follow all the rules that would, that, that, that would require the 28 delegates to, vo to vote in line with the Nevada caucus mm -hmm. results, which I noticed earlier, you so said that's just a preference poll. Mm -hmm. But you said that delegates could switch and if a contested convention leads to multiple ballots. That is exactly what the rules mm -hmm. say. So you, I don't view it as taking over the convention. We will have delegate enhancement. You are such a diplomat, sir. Uh, I think I said delegate enrichment. It's kind of, we experienced this in 2008. Again, it's staying power. Uh, through each uh, point in the process, I believe in 2008, we had 14 percent of the vote. By the time we got to the county, we had, you know, 35 to 40. By the time we got to the state, we had 45, 50, 60 percent of the delegates. Similar things are going to happen. Again, it's staying power. Uh, it's just it's just how it plays but, but, out. But, but the rules say, and and, and tell me and, if you're disputing we've the rules. Always, no, we've always followed the rules, and that I think that's been the issue. We've never taken over anything. We've always followed the rules to the to the letter of the rule. Uh, what has happened is we've always got pushback because we've outnumbered uh, the establishment. Uh, you know, it's really what this is about, and I'm sure you know this, you're relatively new to this, but back in 2008, the Ron Paul folks they were better organized than the establishment, and they essentially took over the state convention to the point where they were going to have a, a significant number of national convention delegates, and so Bob Beers and Sue Loudon, who was the chairman at the time, they shut down the convention, and the ballots disappeared. And this wasn't just a Ron Paul conspiracy. The ballots disappeared. You probably heard these stories. How do you change that image? Well, that's definitely a big part of wanting to be involved with the Clark County GOP is just getting people to uh, trust again and getting people to participate. Again, if you show up, then you know you'll you'll be present for and be able to change the way things are done. To tell me some things that you want to do and what you think this executive board can do that previous executive boards have not done. Well, I think if you're looking for fair and and, and a transparent process, it just has to do with planning. It has to do with executing a plan exactly how you set it out and making sure that everybody can tell and see exactly what. What's happening. And what does that mean exactly? What has been hidden in the past, do you think? Well, with the caucus, for example, it just was so unorganized that there was no way to, uh, uh, you know, uh, supporters were not able to feel confident in the process. So, you know, you'd want to make it more organized and just uh, simple. You know, it's interesting because you and I had this conversation a a after the caucus, and, and you are a smart guy. I'm not just patronizing you. You know what you're doing, obviously, based on what happened. But you didn't think there was fraud committed, but you thought you thought it was very, very disorganized. But there's still that perception that persists with, with Ron Paul. So let me just show you the poll that we took. Uh, uh, we've we'll got more than 500 people to respond to this poll, which is more than we've ever gotten. It's not a scientific poll, but we asked Las Vegas Sun readers what they think uh, about Ron Paul. So we have more than five. 14% said they think that Paul has fear 
clear support, but it doesn't extend much beyond a small percentage of voters in most states. 5% said they think Paul has a lot of grassroots support, but people can't bring themselves to vote for him because they don't think he will win. And 81% think that the establishment has stacked the deck against Paul and the possibility of corruption exists. This whole conspiracy theory, cor corruption, you don't think there's corruption. You think it's incompetence and disorganization, right? I, I always blame that first. It's not, th not that it is not there. Uh, right. We're working hard to work with establishment figures, people that are currently there, whether they're established or not, whatever their agendas are. Uh, I know for a fact that the 14 new e-board members, some two I believe were already there participating in the party, want to work with whoever's there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there are entities out there. I mean, I've even heard that the, there are people working to de uncertify the election that just happened Saturday. Really? Why? I, I don't know why. Um, so obviously the grassroots, the voters who elected these people are going to turn up in droves on next Tuesday Why at the Are you people become a conspiracy theorist suddenly, Mr. No. Bunce? Is this really going on? No. I mean, this is the, I've had several phone calls today. Have you heard the same thing, that they want to decertify the results? Um, yeah, they're different, you know. And how do they do that? I, they're grassmen at straws. And they really are, because they just can't, they can't, can't deal with it. the fact that, that, that you guys have taken over the party, right? Well, I don't know if it's so much of a takeover. We want to work with everyone and bring more people into the party. You guys keep, you don't like the word takeover. No, I mean, Bloodless coup? <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously, I've been working within the party structure for the past four years, for the right. county level, state level. Uh, we have people elected in the state executive committee, elected within Clark County Committee, as well as other county committees. We've wanted to work with people across the board. Uh, just because we bring more people to bear at this point doesn't mean we're taking it over. We've been working within the party for the past four years, and we we'll continue to do that. If people want to build dams and prevent people from uh, and exclude certain people from the process, Ron Paul supporters will more than likely bust those dams. Well, we, we, we are, we're out of time. I, I will say one thing that's certainly true. It certainly couldn't be worse. So you're, 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 lo you're starting at a very low bar. I, I wish you best, both of you best of luck, and thanks to both of you for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you.